This is Baphomet. You are probably most familiar with the monster from when some Satanists tried to put him up on a Capitol building. We are literally on the front lines in the war against encroaching theocracy. But the Satanic Temple did not create Baphomet. The Satanic Temple structure was based on several points of mythical lore. This class has talked before about sticky means. The way words or images can be tweaked over and over by creatives until it reaches a point where it changes so much that it doesn't even really resemble the original creation. There's a hierarchy of memes. There's some that are memorable for a while and then you forget them and then there's some that are way more memorable and then right at the top there are memes that you will never forget. Well, Baphomet is one of the stickiest memes out there. One of the earliest recordings of the name Baphomet comes from the Knights of Templar. They were a Catholic military from the second millennium. The myth says that the Templars were charged with worshipping a heathen idol known as Baphomet. Many scholars educated on the subject believe this first mention of the name was some form of bastardization of the name Muhammad. But nevertheless, the meme was created, the heathen idol Baphomet. In the 1800s, heretic and practitioner of magic Eliphaz Levi made the next Baphomet meme. Eliphaz name drops the heathen idol a handful of times in his Dog that riddle deal out magi. And most importantly, he is credited with his he is credited with drawing this illustration. This illustration would go on to inspire many Baphomet memes, but also just demon memes in general. Everything from the Jersey Devil to where the hell this movie is has taken inspiration from the goat-headed demon Baphomet. But let's take a closer look at Eliphaz's drawing. This picture seems to be an illustration of constant contradictions. Solve and coagula are Latin for tighten and loosen. Both of his hands point up and down. It appears to be both daytime and nighttime. He has the head of a goat, a land animal, and the wings of an angel, a flying creature. Protruding from his pelvis is something that takes the shape of both a penis and vagina. They're opposites, above and below, good and bad, masculine and feminine. They say you cannot have one without the other. But this is drawn in the 1800s in England a very orderly time and place with strict understanding of what everything and everyone should do. Satan is often translated to say adversary in many Hebrew languages. What Eliphaz has drawn here is the ultimate adversary because it asks you to question every preconceived notion of order. Does it walk or fly? Is it day or night? Is it male or female? Yin and yang, man and woman, white and black, good and bad, they're all the same. That would mean there really is no bad then. There's just what works for you and what doesn't work for you. To break down such basic understanding of reality is most certainly a very adversarial meme. From here, Baphomet would be reused for tarot cards, H.R. Giger artwork, even Dungeons and Dragons. In the 1960s, the Church of Satan used a goat face named Baphomet as a sigil for their religion. And in 2013, the Satanic Temple used the imagery to fight for religious equality. At this point, the imagery and the character are universally seen as a mascot for Satanism. Satanists, and, and uh, they use Baphomet all over the place. Look at this. Here's popular culture. Look at all that merchandise. And so does uh, look at these singers all pushing Baphomet in their various ways. And... Uh, don't leave the kids out. That's actually on a kid's show, and that's a satanic uh, book there. Anyone not in a know will probably just assume it's a satanic Jesus. But the design continues to get used in media like Sabrina and in Etsy plushies. I wish I could say there is one strong point or philosophy that Baphomet is carried by, but as is the nature with memes, and as is the philosophy of most satanic organizations, the meaning of Baphomet is created by you, the individual. Is he the adversary to confront your understandings, an idol to worship, or something cute to indoctrinate your conservative sister's children into the dark arts? It's all to your individualistic freedom to decide what Baphomet symbolizes. That's what this, the Baphomet, is really all about.